Hey guys, how are you doing? So I gotta show you. First off, check that out. How insane is that? That is done by this guy. We have a video talking about it, but I have to still edit a lot of videos on the Blade Show. I don't have a lot, but the, the stuff I have is just, it needs a lot of editing and everything. Got a really cool stuff from Aeropol. Artists behind those things. If you remember Tough Thumbs, this post-apocalyptic uh, Tough Thumbs, you know, I don't even know what to call it, banner. It's just insane. And he hooked me up to just beautiful. Look at those fires. Check this out. Look at that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Narcissistic little bit. Yeah, and I don't mind. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Let <laughs> me show you something funny. If my girl, I'm just lucky that my girl doesn't watch my videos because if she sees our living room right now, she would probably leave me. She's on vacation in Slovakia. So <laughs> I took over the living room when I came back. That's actually still stuff from the car that I moved, uh, that I took out before we went to Atlanta. Stuff ready for the shipping, salt stuff, that stuff that's listed, that stuff that is gonna get listed some miscellaneous items there, some promise, you know, stuff that I've put aside already. I'm gonna show you one thing. We bought this from Alan Foltz, these belt loops. I'm actually in working. I emailed him and talked to him about buying more. I do like these a lot. They are very, very economical, simple belt loops that, unlike many other belt loops, I really like this because they are simple, they were perfect. You can put them on and they have this one hole in the center Besides, these actually don't fit to my uh, my holes because this is one inch spread, you know, for like a small tech lock. But even better, one hole, one screw, one rubber spacer. This this is for the smaller knives, plenty, plenty strong when you t crank it up. And what this gives you, and you can swing this, you know, angle this if I put it over. So this can be swing to different directions, different angles to, you know, what you want to carry it on your person. You know, you want to carry it like that, like that, like that. I really like it really neat and I think from what I've heard I mean I bought this from a friend who bought last bunch so from what I heard I don't know who that is but let me take care of this first from what I heard it's only a dollar for each so that's pretty awesome so I'm gonna be putting those and pretty much I guess all if I get them from him in the good quantities I'm gonna be buying all of them from I mean you know bunch of them and I'll put it on all the knives that I will be, I will be selling. Uh, another big thing I really love, check this one out, I picked up this one for my buddy Tim Troyer, Sugar Creek Forge, and it's funny because I don't really like, you know, bones and, and stags and stuff like that, but this knife just talked to me, it was just such an elegant, cool looking blade with that, you know, really funky looking bone handle, it's from the deer, he actually shot with the bow. And uh, he forged the steel, it's actually sandwich steel with the hammer on, so really cool, really cool combination of the knife. Leather stacked front bolster, just really, really cool looking blade. Can't wait to see her reaction when she sees this in the kitchen as a kitchen knife. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, because it looks so gnarly, but it's clean, you know, it's clean with everything and it just has that look to it, like the nasty look, and I like it, it's, it's really wicked. I think it's gonna be a really cool knife. It's gonna be my steak knife and I'm gonna scare people when I will want to scare people. <coughs> Started off with some hogs yesterday last night. So first I did this one, just pre-ground. Cleaned up this and put the put the pre uh, you know rough grinds on them. Check out that spike, that's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be kinda challenging to do that handle. I think I'm gonna have to drill some hole one uh, on the bottom, just to do what I what I plan to do. Didn't think of that, but it feels actually really good in a choke up, so you can actually use it as well. Just like a knife, you know? Just like the edge is a little further away from you, but it can be used as a knife, which is pretty neat. And this was the second one. This one is already like clean a little better. It looks like the whole thing is convex, and I like it a lot. Put the edge only on the bottom. Not put the edge, but do the, did the pre gram only on the bottom. And uh, it looks pretty neat. I think they're, they're gonna be really cool. I might gonna I'm gonna try on one of them at least do like a blood uh, you know it's gonna start as a blood group but actually go all the way through so it's gonna be like a hole like this here I will be able to grind it off hopefully and uh, do like a one light light weight one because this actually has a pretty decent heft to it this should be actually pretty capable chopper 
uh, Excalibur you've seen and uh, I think that's it. Oh no, that is not it. Most of you guys still haven't seen this. My actual something what I bought for myself, the real gift, you know, like the real knife that I got, the real treat, what I treated myself with. And uh, it's this. It's uh, Dan Keffler Zombie Slayer. And some of you have seen it on the videos. And oh man, it's just insanely beautiful. 3V, big chunk of 3V, big thick ch chunk of 3V. Mokume balls, uh, not balls, Mokume Hobaki. And uh, titanium fittings all over. This video doesn't do it justice. I will definitely do a better video on it when I will be testing it more. Uh, outside with the natural light you have really look at that how insane is that all done by hand by then i mean this certainly wasn't a cheap knife yes again a lot of people say that is not a knife that is a that is a short sword which it is i gotta admit it's big it's chops excellent then as a video as with this going you know like two three pass two by fours or three four pass two by fours like nothing Nice thin flat grind. Look at those swedges. Like everything is perfect. He's really good at what he does. Beside the chopping, actually the knife making is just amazing. Uh, this is a whole lot more money than I thought I would ever pay for a knife. But uh, oddly enough, it took me about three seconds to decide to decide if I will buy it or not. Once I've seen it in person, I I knew I had to have it so oh, man i love it and yeah for the people like it's a collector piece no it isn't the first the first day i got it we took it out we chopped two by fours with it that's what it's meant for it's functional actually it's high performance art I, that's what i would say this is it's actually high performance art because it is an art piece but it works like a like a crazy specific design tool and i just love it I just hope she won't make me move out. <laughs> it certainly was a lot of money. But it's just beautiful. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to give you a little, little heads up. All those will keep going to the gear bash and little by little. I'll be shipping all those Saturday, probably Saturday morning. So the video dashes will be probably tonight. And some of the other stuff. And uh, as I'll be doing all this, I will... I have to clean up the apartment to get ready for the better half arrival and I have to start editing videos because there is some really cool footage but it just it I was really bad cameraman this year <laughs> really bad so guys I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself